Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the deluxe Zanda Thanda from Juden Sentai Kyoryuger. This is the sword weapon that is used by Kyoryu Gold. And of course comes with the a few things, Zunder Thunder and one Judenshi. Yeah, this is his main weapon that he uses um, with him. I'm not going to get the um, Terra Charge Saber because of how incredibly small and worthless it is. Uh, I will get the... The Morpher, because it does actually make the Morpher change sounds, which is actually interesting. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but as for the American version of this thing, no dice. I'm not getting it. Hands down, it's just not my cup of tea. So, we'll take a look at the box, then the Judenshi, and then the... Uh, Zunder Thunder, or Xander Thunder, however you want to pronounce it. Um, uh, yeah. So here we have the front of the box, you got a picture of Kyoryu Gold right there. You got the Xander Thunder, or Zunder Thunder, and then the Zhudenshi included. On this side you have him using the Incho prop, and then the toy. On that side, this side, it's pretty much the same thing. On the top, we got actually a really cool picture of Kyoryu Gold right here. Bottom, we have all six of them together. Striking a pose. And on the back is, of course, everything you're gonna do with this thing that's actually pretty big. Yeah, and of course, uh, in case you haven't, didn't see the name, the name of it is on top right there. So, let's see, where did the Junenshi go? Here it is. So the included Junenshi we have is number 23, Futobine. Okay. I'm loading that. It is basically, I think it's, yeah, I think it's a Futosaurus, I think. I forget the name of the dinosaur. But it is basically a relative of the Plesiosaurus that is an aquatic dinosaur. Um, I'm not even sure if aquatic dinosaur has an actual term. Because I know land uh, dinosaurs are just dinosaurs. Uh, dinosaurs that fly or pterosaurs. I'm not sure if there's a term for aquatic dinosaurs, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you got the number 23. It's set out in this gray color, uh, basically. The insignia right here. Very creepy looking. It kind of looks like it has stitches through its mouth. Which, uh, that doesn't actually, um, correspond with what it does in the slightest. So, that's kind of irrelevant. And then we got Fuat Futabine on the back. Or Fuatabine, if you want to say it like that. This is a Made in China Judenshi, so it's more related with the roleplay item. So you get the charge mode. Raven mode with the Futosaurus right there. I can focus on the damn thing. It'll be great. So yeah. Now we can use it in the Gabu di Bodva. little trick that I learned. Switch that to the top. We we'll use Gabitira for this one. Mm. 
and then of course switch this around for the quiet version. That is pretty much it on the sound effects there. Ah, there we go. Ah. So, yeah, and then you can also use Fua to bind in Kyoryujin. Uh, big guy himself right here. Alright, what do you gotta say, big guy? I'm not sure uh, what, uh, so the power of this one, it would basically multiply, uh, it would basically, uh, the Futobine Judenchi would multiply people, and I think by bine is supposed to mean uh, multiply, uh, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be an onomatopoeia for, but you did hear like something multiplying in the background of that sound effect, I'm not sure how that works. Uh, but I would have to double check. A little confusing, I know, but, uh, what can you do? You can stay hydrated, that's what you can do. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> So here we have the Xander Thunder, or Xander Thunder itself. Is this off? No, it is on. Done out primarily in kind of this navy blue color. The black paint on mine is a little scratched up. It's not that bad, but uh, I'll, I can, it can easily be faced with like a Sharpie or something. Uh... Although, I think I might need some more heavy-duty paint on this one. Um, so, yeah. It also has little bits of silver paint going through it. Some of it I had to fix. Uh, in fact, some of it still needs fixing. Um, especially around the eye. Around there. Nice little piping details on the back. The back has a nice hollow foil sticker, and that's uh, painted red because the LED is on this side. I don't know why they couldn't have put another LED on here, because they did that with the uh, Gabri caliber. So you got a hollow foil sticker here with a plain old lightning bolt, but then on the other side you get another hollow foil sticker that actually spells out Xander Thunder, or Xander Thunder. <laughs> Is it Xander or Xander? Well, I don't know, the whole English, whatever. But, uh, even though it's not really LNR, but yeah, whatever. And then you also got a little gun barrel, which not only doubled as like a simulation barrel whenever Kyoryujin uh, Western was formed, but it could actually shoot something, even though there's no gun sound effects. That would have been cool, though. So to turn it on, you got a little switch back here. It takes two AAA batteries. So, there we go. Very familiar turn on sound. Uh, so when you hit the button right there, all you're greeted with is... That's it. And if you try to pull this, nothing will happen. It'll kind of make that powering down sound. Um, the thing I hate about this lever here is that when you're trying to swing it like a role play toy, um, you'll often, this isn't like, I wish there was like some sort of button that you push when you grab the handle that would like unlock it and then you can pull it forward because if you're just swinging it, Chances are you're going to, well, I can't do it now, but often 
the thing would flap around and hit the button. And it's especially weird for when you're loading Judenchis. Um... Speaking of which, that's this thing's gimmick, is that it can actually, you can actually load up to three Judenchis in here. All Pterogordon Judenchis, which I will be using, um, here. So when you open, so open this up, there are two translucent red buttons on either side of the bottom of the blade. So you open it up, you are greeted with three compartments, and also you have a little bit of detail on the side, and little buttons that get depressed. So yeah, there are three compartments. You can load three Jidenchis. So when you load in one, I like to be show accurate. He didn't use this Jidenchi in here. Uh, so I'm just kind of, kind of leaving this off to the side. So insert one. You'll say Gabrinchu, of course, but then Nothing will happen. You need to pull the lever, and then you'll access its true sound effects. So you get Zan, uh, which is the first part of Zunder Thunder. And there's two pronunciations of it. So that's kind of like the generic attack that he uses. If you want to give it more shocking power, that wasn't even a pun, that was just a bad attempt at one. Insert two, pull the lever, and you'll get... Zunder. Very nice. Um, and then the last attack is for his finisher move, which you can access by loading three Judenchis at once. So, to do that, just insert the last one in here. And now you'll have three loaded up. And then pull the handle. You get the standby. And that is the finisher attack, the Raiden Zanko, which means lightning aftershock. Now, it has another function with the Gaburi Changer. If you remember the, the little button here, that would happen whenever there was a Judenchi loaded and you activate the transformation. Well, there's this little thing back here that you can connect the two, and then that's how you're supposed to activate the sound effect. It literally doesn't activate anything, but that's for your imagination. Like, I guess you could pretend that, let's say the finishing attack didn't have enough energy, and you want to give it more energy, you can transfer electric, like, you know, like, ele like electricity power from here to here to give it a little bit more strength. I mean, it is a roleplay toy, so whatever role you want these two to play, that's what it's going to do. So I guess you can pretend that it's transferring power from the Gaburi Changer to the Xander Thunder, or Xander Thunder. I can't pronounce it right. This always gave me pronunciation problems. I know there's an A, but in the show it would always pronounce it as if it was, a, it was confusing. Anyway, so yeah, that is pretty much it. This is pretty much a really cool toy. And it's a really cool uh, sword 
Um, I just love it. This thing is addicting, and I love it. Yeah, I can't read Judenchi's. It doesn't matter what Judenchi you put in there. It's going to make whatever sound effect it wants to. And to prove it, um, let's just... I have Gabutira here. And I have, of course, Futabine. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter what gets put in here. It will make whatever sound effect it goes for. So, I say pick it up. It is definitely worth it. This thing is really, really cool. So, I will see you guys later. Take care.